Hello, hello, this is Rod, Live Within Your Means. Hey, you know, uh, I want to put out videos that are really going to be helpful to everyone. A few years ago, I got shadow banned by YouTube, Facebook. I uh, put out some things before the 2020 election that were very, uh, that, that people in power didn't want people to hear. And uh, Eric Schmidt may not want this heard. We'll give thanks to Matthew Berman down on the corner for bringing this out. This is something Eric Schmidt uh, when he said when he was speaking with Stanford University just recently. Now, today is August 22nd, 2024. I'd encourage you to listen to this and the arrogance uh, and the lack of uh, caring that uh, he seems to have in what he is going to say here at the end of this short clip on this video. I encourage you to share it with everyone that you can. Let's see if we can make it go viral. You can do that by giving it a like and uh, also uh, putting some comments below the video. If you'd like, subscribe to the channel and I'll start putting out some more valuable information to you and have the courage that I once had that I need to have again because we need to save our country and make it so that people, all people, can live within their means. In my opinion, that can only happen in a free market. Let's hear what he has to say. There's a few players that are dominating AI, right, and they'll continue to dominate. Um, and they seem to overlap with the large companies that all the antitrust regulation is kind of focused on. How do you see those two trends kind of, yeah, like do you see regulators breaking up these companies and how will that affect the, yeah. So in my career, I helped Microsoft get broken up and it wasn't broken up. And I fought, fought for Google to not be broken up and it's not been broken up. Yeah, so this obviously came out before this week. And just this week, it seems like the FTC is really strongly considering breaking up Google. Uh Let's just uh, make sure that everybody hears this because uh, it'll make you really wonder whether you want to see Google continue to get bigger. But as I said, getting rid of all the regulations is what will help the, the free market, help everyone compete to be able to have businesses. Can you imagine if we didn't have to have laws, if people would just love one another and care about their neighbor, you know, the golden rule, love thy neighbor as thyself. So let's uh, continue hearing. Um, I haven't covered it on the channel much, but that is a thing that is happening right now. And we'll see what happens with that. But he seems overly confident in this moment because he doesn't know what's to come. So it sure looks to me like the trend is not to be broken up. Um, as long as the companies avoid being John D. Rockefeller, the senior, and I studied this, look it up. It's how antitrust law came. I don't think the governments will act. act. The, re the reason you're seeing these large companies dominate is who has the capital to build these data centers, right? right? So my friend Reed and my friend Mustafa, He's coming uh, next week, Reed, uh, two, two weeks from now. Have, have Reed talk to you about the decision that they made to take inflection and essentially piece part it into Microsoft. Basically, they decided they couldn't raise the tens of billions of dollars. Is that number public that you mentioned earlier? Let me just say, uh, I disagree. It, it, people can do things and small companies can rise up if there's not a lot of regulations getting in the way. And I think most of you that have thought about having businesses, what's the big fear that a lot of us have? Uh, bookkeeping for the taxes and all the regulations and fearing we might do something wrong. Why? Because we don't know all the laws out there. We don't have all uh, an, a, an army of attorneys working for us like Google does. Yeah. Have Reed, have Reed give okay, you maybe we can say, uh, I know you're, you gotta go, I, I don't want to you, I want to leave with, with, with shall, we, shall we do one, this gentleman, one more question, one more, yeah, go ahead. I was wondering where all of this is going to lead countries who are non-participants in of development of frontier models and access to compute, for example. Okay, here's the quote, listen to this. His lack of humility, arrogance is incredible and his lack of empathy and caring for the people of this world. Here you go. Rich get richer and the poor do the best they can. Wow. The rich get richer and the poor do the best they can. Unbelievable. Uh, I mean, here's one of the wealthiest men in the world. Um, he's only caring about profits, the growth of his company, the power that he has. Uh, he's, he's obviously not caring about the people of this world. The rich get richer. And he's talking about himself and the people around him, and the poor do the best they can. Share this, make it go viral, put your comments below. Thank you for liking it and for all that you do. This is Rod. Live within your means. Have a wonderful day.